A brief history of chemistry. Did you know? Materials such as plastic, synthetic rubber, sulfuric acid and medicines like our favourite antibiotic penicillin all originate from the chemical industry of early Muslims who were chemistry revolutionaries. In fact, the word chemistry in Arabic is kimia with al as the definite article. Thus, alchemia meaning the chemistry or alchemy in Old English. Today, we will discuss who made early discoveries in chemistry, what they were and how they are contributing towards our modern society today. The father of chemistry. Can you guess who he is? Yes, he is Jabir ibn Hayyan, or Jibba, as known by the West, was son of a druggist. He lived from 722 AD to approximately 815 AD. He spent most of his time in Kufa in Iraq and scientifically systemized chemistry. He devised and perfected many chemical processes like distillation, liquefaction, crystallization, sublimation, amalgamation, and filtration. Most of these processes are still used the same way today, his most famous being his distillation process. The glassware he used were also designed by him, most of which are still shaped the same way. He also built a precise scale which weighed items 6,480 times smaller than a kilogram or 2.2 pounds. Jabir ibn Hayyan was also aware of atoms and compounds and how they combine to form bonds. He also attempted to make paper that cannot burn and ink that can allow us to read in the dark. His fascinating works were included in the Great Book of Chemical Properties, The Way and Measures, The Chemical Combination and The Dyes. The great work of his was all done in his laboratory in Kufa and was rediscovered during demolition of some houses in the area of Damascus Gate. Al-Razi's Book of Secrets Muhammad ibn Zakaria al-Razi was known in the West by Razis who lived in Iran from 864 to 925 AD. He is famous for writing books like The Book of Secrets and The Book of Secret of the Secrets. He is most famous for the classification of natural and artificial substances, giving birth to the modern-day periodic table that we all know of. One of his most interesting research was on waterproofing fabrics and making hair dyes. He also designed, described and used more than 20 laboratory instruments, many of which are still in use, such as crucible, cucurbit or retort for distillation. Al-Kindi Al-Kindi lived from 801 to 873 AD in Iraq. He is most famous for writing a book on the chemistry of perfumes. The book contained 107 recipes for different scents. Does this increase your love for chemistry? Do you have a great idea that can inspire you to write a chemistry book one day? Stay tuned as we dive deeper into the intriguing field of chemistry and give you answers to some of your greatest questions.